As a follow-up from the last video about how to return multiple values from a function, we're going to take a look at how you can return an array from a function. So let's take a look here. Let's say we want to get the next five consecutive numbers from a function. Let's say we have int x equals five and we want a function that returns six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all neatly inside, a, inside an array. Okay, so let's create that function first. Let's uh, let's try. So what would be what would that function be like? Well, we know an array is similar to a pointer. Okay, there are some differences, but we can use that. So we can try to return an an int pointer and say get next five and get an x here. <coughs> All right, and then the get next next five would be would do what? Well, first let's Let's instantiate a, uh, an array. So R is going to be 5, like that. And 4, we also need an I, so an I, 4, I equals 0, I less than 5, I plus plus, I plus plus, there we go. And here we can say what exactly? Well, R of I equals X plus I. Simple enough, okay? Cool. And then at the end here, we're going to return what? We're going to return R as our array. Okay, sure. Let's try and uh, call this function next 5x. If I try to run this, you will notice that nothing happened. And you will notice that also we get a warning here that says function returns address of local variable. What does that even mean? And it's also happening here. Well, this R here is an address to our local variable int R of 5. And we, we just return that address. But we have to take into consideration that this array is instantiated on the stack okay so its memory is on the stack and when we return from this fun function it actually gets deallocated and we get we are left with just a reference to that place in memory there where there was the array but now there's nothing so this approach wouldn't work so we have to use the same technique that we used in a previous video. We have to, instead of saying here int star, we're going to say void, and say here int star, uh, let's say result, okay? And inside the result, we can say here result of i equals x plus, plus i, uh, plus i plus 1 actually. And no longer do we return r here. And inside our main function, we have to actually define our result. All right, so let's say int r is of 5, okay? And then the get next 5 function will take in x as the input and then r as the result, as a, the pointer to the output, okay? And it doesn't return anything. And if we try to print out all this, um, let me actually get this for loop here real quick. And say print f, send this space, and then um, r of i, I think it is. There we go. If I try to run this, uh, int i, that's what happens if you copy paste the code. You will notice that we get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is the correct result. Now, the issue with this is that, well, you don't really know if the programmer actually <laughs> did. Uh, define the array properly. Right now it's actually working for me, but if this was, for example, a really small number like R of 1, that might actually trip things up and it will say 6, 7, 8, 3, 10 because we're actually going past the memory and this guy just saved garbage memory somewhere and it got overwritten. Okay, so uh, using this approach, you have to make sure that the one using your code will actually define the array properly. I'm going to remove all this. 
okay so this is the end result just use a pointer to your result array okay another way you can actually do this is through um, dynamically allocating the array which is not really the best way but you can do it and I'm going to show you right now how you can do it you can just say instead of in star result you can still return an in star pointer but instead of saying int result of 5 here you would say in star result equals m alloc uh, size of int and times how many ints you want which is 5 and I hope I have here malloc. Um, let me just make sure and when you allocate memory dynamically you you will have to actually deallocate it so when you return this result this doesn't really need a second parameter now but has an in star result equals that and if I try to print in here let's say r instead of result I'll just move this line if I try to run this it will properly work but you would have memory leaks in your program so you have to make sure that you also free up this memory that you allocated here so that's one issue with uh, returning dynamically allocated ma uh, arrays right so if you dynamically allocate this you have to make sure that whenever you're using this you will also free the result otherwise the memory gets leaked because it's dynamically allocated okay I hope you understood something from this. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want more of these types of videos. And otherwise, thanks for watching and take care.